Hello, in this uh, section, I'm going to be introducing this important topic um, or concept um, called the column space of a matrix. And so I'll just put the definition right out there. The column space of the matrix is a set of all linear combination of that matrix's columns. Okay, so I have a couple of matrices um, shown here that we'll play with. Um, I'm, I'm showing it mathematically here as well. If I double click on this, you can see that I just wrote some markdown code. Um, inside of that cell, which is not important for you to know for this class. But um, how can I figure out what is inside of a, of a matrix, uh, matrices column space? Well, I can try taking some linear combinations and see some examples of what are in the column space. So let me, um, let me do that. I'm going to say a dot. And, um, and remember that when I take the dot product between a matrix and a vector, that vector lets us take a, um, a linear combination of those columns, right? So that's great because um, if I take a linear combination of those columns, that's at least one thing that's in the column space. Okay, so let me let me create a, an array here, like so, and um, and so I can do like this, and I'm gonna have to well, let me think about this here. I'm gonna put a couple of values there. I have to reshape this because I want um, it to be. Well, let me think about it. I need rows and columns. Uh, I want there to be one column and however many rows are necessary. And um, okay, so I'm taking a linear combination of the columns of A. So I guess really I need two numbers here, right? Um, how many of column one do I want? How many of column two do I want? And, um, and so I could do this. I could say, well, I want one of column uh, one and, and none of column two, and I get that. And I can see, okay, well, this is a vector that is in the column space of A, right? Because, you know, I'm taking some combination of those columns and I get this, right? So by definition, this column is in the column space. Um, let me take, um, you know, I don't want any of the first column. Let me take one of the second column. Okay, you can see where that's coming from, right? I've just pulled out uh, one of the second column here. And so this, by definition, is in the column space. If I want to, I could um, add them together, right? I want one of each column. Um, I could, uh, if I wanted to, I could say, I want to have one of the um, first column and subtract off, I'm sorry, one of the second column and subtract off one of the first column. This vector um, is also in the column space, right? So you can kind of see that by putting in different weights here, we can uh, readily find a bunch of different things that are in the column space, okay? Right, and so uh, let, let me show you one more thing that's in the column space. If I say zero, zero, well, the zero vector is in the column space, and that's gonna be in the column space for every matrix. Okay, so here I have another, um, another uh, matrix, matrix B, and, and I actually, the Python code was that, for that was up here already. This is just to show, visualize it. And so what we want to figure out now is which of these five vectors um, are in the column space or not. Okay, so how can I do that? Um, well, and, and let's say, I'm going to start keeping tabs here, right? So I'm going to say in the column space, and then there's going to be some that are not in it. And, um, and, and this is the part I've been doing already, right? I've been showing you lots of examples to kind of how, how to figure out if something's in the column space or not. This is going to be a little bit tricky. We're going to have to make um, uh, some arguments um, for that, but we'll, we'll get to it. So let me take a look at this first vector, A, and um, that looks like it's in the column space. So I, I just have that hunch. So how can I prove it? I can do this. I can... Uh, take a linear combination of those columns. I'm just going to grab this piece here. I guess there's still, um, I guess both my examples had two columns, so this is the same. Uh, you can see now, right, when I take um, a combination of two columns, uh, I'm getting four values because there's four, um, four values in each column. Okay, so how can I take a combination of those columns to get this? Uh, well, I see I have a two. I have a two in that first spot, right? And um, so how can I get a two in the first spot? Uh, certainly not from this column, right? I don't care how many of the second column I add, 
that gives me nothing in that first spot, right? So I could take a you know a thousand of these. I still have a, a zero on that first spot, so I don't need that. Um, I can see that uh, I may need two of that first column, right? So I I multiply that first column by two, and from that I can get a two right here. Okay. Uh, what about these other values down here? How can I get these? Well, I can see that column one offers me nothing, uh, but um, I can mix in uh, some column two here to get that, right? So um, I guess it's two, three to two, three. So I just want one of those. You, you see that? If I take um, two of column one and one of column two and then add them together, I get, I get what? I get vector A. Therefore, A, A is in the column space. Okay. What about B? This is B in the column space. So B, I have three zeros and then a one. And uh, and you can see my difficulty, right? I mean, if I if I'm you know pulling from this column, that doesn't give me anything in that last spot. If I'm pulling from this other column. That also gives me nothing in that last spot. So really, it doesn't matter what I put here, right? I'm always gonna have zero in that last spot because neither of those columns give me anything in there, right? So I can't mix and match the columns of B to get a value in the last cell, right? So that's the kind of argument that we can make. We can say that B is not in the column space, okay? What about C? Uh, that's a little weird, right? Because I guess we have um, have a negative number, uh, but that's perfectly fine because I can, when I'm taking these linear combinations, I haven't had many examples of it, but there's nothing stopping me from putting a negative number there. I guess negative one um, times that first column gives me negative one, zero, zero, zero. I think I can just do negative 10 there and, uh, and cool, right? I get negative 10, zero, zero, zero which is exactly that. So I guess that means that the C vector is in the column space. Okay, what about this next guy here? Uh, this one. Is that in the column space? Mm. Well, I can see there's a zero in the first spot and and so that makes me feel like I don't have any of this first column, right? So let me let me try to think about this. I guess I would say zero of the first column. And um, how many of the second column uh, do I want? Uh, I, I guess I need a negative two here. And, um, and if I take negative one of the second column, I see that if I take a negative one of these, I'm gonna get a negative two there. So I'm gonna try negative one. Uh, like so, and um, and so this is kind of good as I'm looking at this vector e, right? I got a zero, got a negative two, uh, but this is not right. This negative three here, right? Because I had I had three up here, and and now you kind of see I'm in a pickle, right? Because uh, because if I increase this number, right? If I make this positive, let's say I made this like one, well, then I'm solving this but I can't get this, right? So I can't do that, right? Because um, because if I have a positive number, a positive number of column two, then both of these, both of these parts are gonna be positive. If I have a negative number of column two, then both of those are be negative, right? So D, no way I can solve that, right? Okay, what about this last one, E? Um, well, in that first piece, I see there's negative one, and I see that column one give me some uh, values in that first spot. So I think what I will do is say, let's take negative one of these. And, um, and what about this two, three? Well, that's straight out of the second column, right? I can just add in one of the second column, and voila, there I have it, negative one, two, three. That means E is in the column space.